I'm really excited because I have wanted to order from them before. They have like a lot of cute bikinis and girl stuff. I got priority two day shipping and it came just in time because I need to do laundry. It's actually in the washer now, but when I showered and everything today, I didn't have nothing to wear. So I have like, you know, something that does not match or look good. So now I can put on a cute outfit for today because I actually wanted to do stuff. But let me go ahead and get this try on haul started. Wait one second, I'll put on my first fit. First item actually isn't a fit. It is a shirt. I'm getting vacation vibes from this. When I first put it on, I'm like, oh, this is really baggy. Like I'm probably gonna have to give this to Raven um, cause her boobs are bigger than mine. But the string actually tightens it and makes it fit me perfectly. And this is a size small. I literally got everything in size small. They didn't have guy clothes. Guy clothes I tend to wear baggy and girl clothes I wear fitted for obvious reasons. But yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10 because you guys already know black is my color and I usually don't like a lot of things that aren't black, but I love this one. It's really comfortable. Honestly, if you're a girl, you'd want to know this. I feel like my nipples aren't showing because I never wear bras. Like if anything, I need something, then I'll wear pasties. So I like how I could be free and then not like doing too much with you know so i definitely give this one a 10 out of 10 and yeah they also came like it came in this tote bag i'm trying everything on in the tote bag first maybe this is like the clothes and then the bikinis are not in there i'm not sure but i just grabbed some stuff from the back so 10 out of 10 on this one let's try the next one and this is item number two it is a maxi dress it's really chill colors so it's also vacation vibes i'm getting all these vacation clothes I don't even have anything planned yet, but I guess I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so it goes all the way down. You guys may or may not be able to see, but it is <laughs> a bit long for me. But I am only five foot one inch, so this is normal for maxi dresses for me. It has like a little slit back here, so that's cute. I honestly should have ordered a different color because uh it's kind of light for me so i feel weird even you guys probably seeing me in this you're like what because i don't really wear stuff like this i mostly wear like black or chill i don't know but anyways i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 just because it's comfortable as shit i could literally wear this everywhere not be doing the most comfort is key but eight because i just don't feel like it's my style really so I, I don't know why i got it but anyways eight out of ten for this one so let me go ahead and try on the next item here's outfit number three it is a two-piece top and skirt bottom oh this is how it looks it goes oh let me show you the bottom it goes all the way past the knees i feel really classy in this <laughs> and it's like a mustard color and I feel like if you're a girl with bigger boobs, this would probably suit you really, really well because of this opening part. But, you know, I ain't got none. All in all, I would give this a 8 out of 10 as well because, once again, I don't know why I got this color. I just wear black for the most part. So I feel super different in it. It's like a yellowish green lime color. Once again, vacation vibes. But I would still give it a high rating because it's really, really soft. Like, I need comfort over everything. Like, period. <laughs> I kind of messed up on the top, this part. But this top is too big for me. But this happens to me sometimes. If I move, my nips can show. Like, in a certain way. So, I'm just going to show you guys the outfit. Once again, if you have bigger breasts, this would probably look really bomb on bigger breasted women. But this is like a going out outfit. I don't even know if you guys heard me or not. You would totally light up the club. I love the sequins and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I would need a smaller size personally for my body. But yeah, all in all, I give this a 10 out of 10. I just wish it fit me, but yeah, I, I love this kind of stuff. It's super extra, hugs my body great. So 10 out of 10. Too bad I can't wear it, but yeah. <laughs> this is one that I was super excited for. I wanna get some blonde hair next, and whenever I wear blonde weaves or wigs, I feel like I look the best in pink, and I don't really own much pink clothes. Actually, now I don't own anything until this outfit. So I'm really happy with this. Dude, all these clothes are soft as fuck. And I'm giving this a 10 out of 10, just because it's exactly what I wanted. It hugs 
me just right and it's really soft like I've never had a skirt set so soft um I don't think I don't think I look very coke bodily from right here but in person, I look really good in this. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take a picture of this one on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. It's also OMGO Ash. Um, and I'm gonna take it with some blonde hair because I need to get some blonde to just rock this. Not that I don't love my natural hair, you guys already know. I just want to feel like really Barbie. Like it's like a Barbie vibe, you know? So I'm just gonna go with that. Anyways, let me. Oh, now it's just bikinis. I always say the bikinis for last for obvious reasons, but let's try on the first one. Oh my God, I'm calling this the Princess Jasmine bikini because it's like jasmine colors. This is already a 10 out of 10 before I even show you guys all of it because it just like, look at the top. I've never had a bikini like a half shirt top. Nowadays, I, I grew up around an era when you were limited to what was available at the mall. So now this internet shit is just like, heaven to me the lace fronts all this extra beauty shit is freaking heaven but anyways this is my favorite bikini ever because i feel like jasmine oh i got my tag on this i didn't really pull off any of the tags but yeah anyways whatever just ignore the tags i'm literally taking it out of the box as i do this so let me show you guys the back it's like a scrunch right here so i mean even if you don't have a a buttocks that little scrunchy thing helps. I really don't feel like I will like any other bikini better than this in my whole life, but let's go ahead and see. I forgot about this one. This isn't a bikini. This is a bodysuit. I actually already owned an exact same bodysuit like this. I got it from V's Boutique. She already sold out, but I lost it. Like I have no idea where it is. And I also lost a waist trainer. Now that I think about it, I had that when I had the waist trainer. So I don't know where the fuck I went to where I lost my shit, but I have not been able to recover it and I loved it. So I ordered another one. They have it here at Hot Miami Styles. This is literally like a go-to everyday outfit. It's super comfortable. It's like short, see? It's like a, it's a one piece. You just put it on like that and boom, you're ready for your day to do anything. Who texted me? This is obviously a 10 out of 10 obvi. You guys already know me, or at least you should. If you don't, you're getting to know me better. I love black, love comfort, and things that fit me, like, right. I have two more items and they are bathing suits, so let's see how they look. This bathing suit was very difficult to decide what color because they literally had like four. Oh geez, the sticky part, forgot to take it off. <laughs> They literally had four colors, but I got this olive one. This is how it looks. Um, I feel like it needs to be tighter here, but guess what? It comes with a fanny pack. That's what I have in my hand. I just wanted to show you how it comes packaged, I guess. So you can look freaking fashionable by the pool. You could put them through the little belt loops, but I just kind of don't feel like doing that right now because I'm gonna take it off to show you the last bikini. <laughs> Um, oh Jesus. So this is a size small. Oh, yay. That was a worry of mine if they're gonna have a small enough belt loop. And I'm on the tightest. I don't know what my waist measurement is, but it's not the biggest and it's not the smallest. So I'm 5'1", 112 pounds right now. So let me put that out there. And all the everything I tried on is a size small, so. I think I already said that, but just in case. All right, well, I don't feel like fishing it through this part, so I'm just gonna tuck it in right here. So this is literally how it was on the model on the website. I'm trying to be a model, guys. I need to do more photo shoots so I can actually like get in magazines and stuff. It's had in magazines, but no, I really like this. I'm not even a fashionable person. Um, this is how it looks from behind. I need to get my back chatted. That is so annoying to me. I'm gonna get the chakras. Anyways, so let me continue. From behind, <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's not black, but I fuck with this type of color too. So 10 out of 10 on this one. I have one last bikini. It looked like my favorite online, so I say the best for last. Hope I'm not disappointed. It's one of these kind and it like, is potentially can fuck with my jelly rolls, but I hope it doesn't. Okay, let's look. 
I feel like I'm a happy camper because as soon as I stopped drinking beer for like a week, it's already been, well, it's noon right now, like 12 p.m., but I haven't drank all day today, so it's been half of a day since I haven't drank a beer, but like, give me a week and my stomach will be perfect because my stomach's pretty strong. I need to show you guys my workout, but this is my last bikini. This was the one I was super excited for because I already told you guys I like non-conservative bikinis because I just do I don't know why this fits perfect it doesn't mess with my jelly rolls too bad the bottom is kind of tight on me but I mean it's a it's a give-and-take with bikinis uh, if you have like a bigger bottom and a small top so this is how the back looks and I give this a 10 out of 10 honestly if I would have ordered a medium this would have been too big this probably would have been better I wanted it to go like up here that's how it looked on the model Ooh. But I guess I can, but I feel like, oh no, oh yeah, okay, see? This is, okay, this is a this is a 100 out of 10, look at that. I don't know if you watch all my try on hauls or not, but I tried on Fashion Nova's bikinis because I'm an extra small in all the clothes, or women's clothes, but their be extra small bikinis are like super duper small, like for children, so I need medium in Fashion Nova, in Fashion Nova for the bikinis. But in Hot Miami Styles, I'm definitely a small. I mean, I'm like good on bikinis for the summer now, honestly. But yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. So this one and the Princess Jasmine one are, I saw them on, on eh. I saw them online and I already thought I would love them, but in person, I'm super satisfied. Super satisfied with my order. Everything I've tried on is gonna be down below in the description as well as like anything else they have on the website. I just picked 10 things, but. They have more obviously hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i miss you all so much and i'm so excited for today's video as you all probably noticed i did not post last week i just needed a mental refresh as you guys know there's a lot going on in the world but i'm really excited to be back so let's just jump right into this bikini try on haul today's quote of the day is this too shall pass so whatever you're going through or whatever hap whatever is happening in the world right now, this too shall pass and you're going to get through this and this, this does not last forever. It's temporary. So let's get right into the first bikini. So for this first bikini, shout out to my boyfriend for buying me this bikini. I seriously love it so much and it's actually from Roxy, which is a really nice brand. So this is what it looks like. It's your typical bikini, but it has a fun tropical print to it. It's a navy color with yellow green and red flowers on it and it is kind of like a string bikini and then the bottoms are very high rise and cheeky in the back but this bikini is just very flattering so thank you so much to my boyfriend for buying me this bikini i seriously love it and this is what it looks like up close so you guys can just see it, see it right here so just a triangle top and then it ties in the back and I really love this simple yet sleek design. That's just my style. I don't like when there's too much going on. And then the bottoms are actually really unique. So this is what it looks like. It has two strings here. So they do go up really high on the waist. And then right here, it's really cool because it's actually adjustable. So you can scrunch it open or scrunch it so that it's a little bit smaller. And then the same goes for the back of the bikini. So that is really, really nice and really fun. So moving on to the next bikini, it would not be a bikini try on haul by me if I didn't show you something that was red because you guys know that I'm obsessed with red. So this one is actually a really bright red, almost orange color and it is so much fun. So the top has this stunning keyhole. It's a very unique design and it will definitely make you stand out. And I love the top, but then for the back of the top, it has a crisscross tie closure, which makes it adjustable, which is awesome because everyone is a different size. You know, some people have a, a broader, wider rib cage like mine, and some people have a really small rib cage. So it's nice that it's adjustable. And then for the bottoms, they are matching bottoms with the same adjustable sides that tie up and then you can tie it in a little bow so I'll just show you guys this as well real quick so this is what it looks like 
really cute keyhole right here and I can leave everything linked down below this video is not sponsored but I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested they're from multiple different brands and then this is what the back looks like and I'm really excited for all of these bikinis because obviously it's summertime and it's really hot where I live so I will be getting a lot of use out of these and then this is what the bottom looks like and it has a really nice ridge detail as you can see on the fabric which I love that aspect as well so let's move on. I actually went through a stage where I was obsessed with white bikinis and I still love white bikinis and I love white shirts. I don't know, I just like wearing the color white more than the color black, but that's just my personal preference. And this next bikini is really cool because the top is almost like a crop top. So since it's summertime pretty much, you could double this top as a crop top and wear this with shorts. And I probably should take my own advice and do that because I have not done it yet. It would be really cute with shorts. And it just ties in the center and then for the bottoms, they're almost like a thong back bottom. Very uh, revealing yet very flattering. So I love that aspect. So let me just show you guys this top right here. See the tie closure in the front. It does have the built-in padding, so this would be a really cute crop top with shorts, jean pants, anything. It could go with so much. That's the cool thing about white. It's very versatile. And then these are the bottoms. So very simple, high-waisted, just like I like it. And then this is the back. The back is very nice as well. And now I'm going to show you guys another red bikini. I'm sorry, don't get mad at me, but I just love red and this one this one actually has sunscreen all over it because I wear a lot of sunscreen and I actually got sunscreen on it but that's okay so this one is a more simple red bikini compared to the last red bikini that I showed you but I really like that aspect of it because anything that is very simple is just a staple and it will never go out of style so it has a triangle top to it and it is pretty much like a string bikini and then matching bottoms and this is what the top looks like. I really, really love this cut. I just find it to be flattering on myself. And I forgot to tell you guys that all of these bikinis are a size small. I'm usually a true size small, but I do get a medium for my one pieces because I have a longer torso. And these are the bottoms. And I'm seriously so excited to be back, you guys, filming. I never really take breaks from YouTube. And during quarantine, I was posting about three times a week. And I just really needed last week to get refreshed. And I know I love YouTube because I was I was thinking about you guys on Monday and Wednesday when I didn't post. I like felt this guilt. But at this, on the same token, I knew that it would really help me to come back and be my best self and feel refreshed and that's what I want my platform to be so I appreciate the patience from you guys and I seriously am so excited to be back filming so I'll continue on to continue on with the bikini try on haul and this last bikini is a really fun mustard color so it makes it just already so unique since it's a fun color like this and I really love that it has a high neckline but it has a keyhole in it so it has a really fun cutout to it and I have not seen a lot of bikinis like this before so I was like really excited about this one and then for the back it also has a big keyhole which I think something that has a keyhole in the back is just such a an, an amazing statement so it has that and then the bottoms are simple yet high-rise and extremely beautiful on so this is what this one looks like the cutout and then for the back it has a clasp closure and then you just tie it and then these are the bottoms it's officially several days later and I am ready to try these all on uh, it's gonna be a lot of work but I'm ready for it because I'm super excited to see how they fit um, I did get warned by the girl that works at Sportcheck that Nike tends to fit a little bit tighter so that a medium might not actually fit and that I should have went up to a large. But just for reference, I did a size medium for every single bra that I'm trying on today. Um, so then you do kind of realize like, is this going to be too tight? And then you can judge off that. Okay, so $416.90. Okay, I've done some damage. How much damage? Yeah. Uh, I can't see it. Oh yeah, four hundred and sixteen dollars and ninety cents. Puke. So, anyways, 
I got a lot of items though. I'm so excited. And this was on sale. Originally $40 on for $10. And it's Fox Racing, so anything Fox I'm gonna buy. There's just a little tank top. I'm super excited about this, so. That, and that's the only regular thing I bought. Everything else was sports bras. So this is the Nike Swoosh Bra. It has this mesh detail, which is really cute. Um, it's medium to high support, which is kind of nice. And the back is really cute. It's like that, crisscrossy. Um, the only thing that I have a complaint about is based on the color, you can really see the boob pads in this. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but you can definitely see them in person and in the like daylight. So that's an automatic no for me, but if it came in like a darker color, um, I would definitely keep it. So really cute, but yeah, the boob pads makes this a no. This is the Nike Indie Bra, which is really nice. It's very comfortable. Definitely more boobish. Uh, I don't feel like I would fall out though if I was like jumping or exercising. So that's a plus. So it's just enough to be kind of cute, but not enough to actually pour out. And the back is just kind of regular, nothing fancy. Um, but I like it. I think this is the one I have in black already. I've had for a while and I really do enjoy it. Um, the only thing is like this strap is pretty tight, like I find for a medium. Um, but I definitely feel like with the strap being tighter, uh, I could do more like high intensity. So I like this one. I will keep this one. This is Under Armour and it's from their Heat Gear um, line. I just, I don't love it. It has the look of it being very supportive, but it's not supportive. So it's just like, I don't know. It's kind of like frumpy and big. I don't find it overly cute. The band is really comfortable though. Like it doesn't like suck you in or anything, but it also doesn't feel like it's holding anything. So that's kind of like, a positive and a negative uh, and the back's kind of normal doesn't blow me away or anything and I mean for $50 definitely not worth it and not cute enough if you do like this one though it does come in other colors so I also got ah, I also got black which is kind of cute and then it does come in this blue color which is also really nice if you were like tan and stuff so I mean there are other options if you just don't like the color but again, I didn't like love the fit, but it was comfortable. So make your decisions. So this is the Mid Impact Armor Bra from Under Armour. Um, media, like it says Mid Impact, but it's really, I don't know, it's not doing much for me. Uh, this kind of like strap tends to give me like a migraine because it's so thick and heavy, just like right in my trap area. So I uh, try to avoid thick straps, but for people that don't, I mean, it's definitely cute. It does show the boob pads. like very prominently, which again bugs me. And the back is that crisscross from before. So, I mean, it's it's nice, it's all right, but I don't know, oh, what, how much was this? Oh, $40. So it's not like super expensive, but I find this, um, what do you call it? This is a medium and this strap kind of, like it, it's not fully staying under my boobs. So I find it's kind of like awkwardly like hanging out. I don't know, it's not great. No, this is, this is a no. This one I think is really cute, but I'm semi disappointed because it's like, it's kind of longer, which I really like. It's different. The straps are so cute with the little detail. It's kind of different than any other one, which is nice. Um, what is this called? This is the Indie Bra, again, but it says light support, which, no kidding. The only thing, it was really hard to get on, so I felt like I was like struggling, struggling, and then all of a sudden it like releases, but I'm like, now I'm sweaty because I put this on and it was a lot of work. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm so back and forth. I really like it. Like it's cute, but let's see, $48. Uh, I'm gonna think about it. So I'm neutral. Update, I'm no longer neutral. I went in the daylight and these boo pads are probably the worst one out of any bra I've ever, ever seen. So you probably can't tell in this, or maybe you can. I'll find out later when I'm editing this, but Oh my goodness, so if boob, po boob pods, if boob pads bother you, definitely not the color for you, but the fit, I'd probably get another color. So that's my advice. I decided to save the most unique one for last. So this is the Nike um, Indie Bra collection. It's $55, so it's a little bit hefty, but it does up in the front, which I really like, and without being too exposing here, um, it goes, it has like this little, strap i'll try to show you as best as possible um it has this little clip here so you do that and then you zip it up and it has like this double strap and then the back is kind of cool 
Like, I haven't seen anything like that, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's like not the most comfortable thing, I'm not gonna say that, but, I, and again, I'm, I don't know, it probably just depends on the size of your boobs, obviously, but this bottom strap, is like it's not sitting against my skin so it's kind of just like half on my skin half on my boobs which really bothers me because then I find that it's just very low impact for me so not ideal because I really really like doing like high intensity workouts and stuff like that's my main it's my jam so I probably wouldn't wear this bra for this um, the colors just not me the colors really cute don't get me wrong just not something that goes well with my skin tone I don't believe